So you want to be happier and healthier, and quite frankly, who doesn't? But you don't know quite how to do it. Well, what if I told you that doing just that was actually pretty easy, and all you needed to do was one simple thing? As we all know, modern life can actually be pretty unhealthy. Between demanding stressful jobs, financial worries, bad diets, lack of exercise, no lack of depressing news on TV, is it any wonder that many of us are only one step away from becoming an undertaker's wet dream? But there is something that you can do to fight back and tip the balance in your favor, riding a bike. And no, I'm not talking about dressing from head to toe in skin tight lycra and rushing out and buying the latest and greatest super lightweight road bike, although that's fantastic if that's the sort of business that you're into. No, I'm talking about regular rides at a moderate pace and actually having fun. If you're not sure how to do it, it's actually really, really simple. First thing you need to do is go out and get a bike, preferably one that's roadworthy and fits you. Next, ride the bloody thing. And no, you don't have to go out every single day riding as hard as you can for as long as you can. Just riding three or four times a week for 20 minutes at a time at a pace that gets you moderately out of breath should be plenty. Within a couple of weeks or so of doing that, you should start to feel happier and healthier. It really is as simple as that. Obviously, riding a bike three or four times a week is going to be absolutely fantastic for your physical health. It will make your heart and lungs stronger, it may help you to burn fat and it may help you to improve your muscle strength. Plus, it will also be brilliant for your mental health as well by getting you out into the fresh air, taking you on mini adventures and generally just giving you a break from all of the things stressing you out. It also has the advantage of helping you to sleep better, particularly if you've been on a ride that's a bit longer and a bit harder than the ones that you usually do. Now I realize that you may have one or two concerns that are preventing you from getting on a bike, so let's get those out of the way now. Firstly, you don't look stupid on a bike. If you want proof, Here's a shot of me riding my bike. Now, unless the circus is in town, it doesn't get any more ridiculous looking than that. So I'm guessing that all of a sudden, you don't feel quite so bad about riding a bike wearing a pair of cargo shorts and a t-shirt. And if you're worried about riding in traffic, well, don't be. More often than not, there are local parks and forests with cycle trails in them where you can ride completely traffic free. If you don't think you have time to ride a bike, why not try to incorporate it into your daily routine? So for instance, using it on your daily commute, or at least part of your daily commute, or for doing little errands like popping down the shops. Now the other day I heard a scary statistic. 75% of all car journeys, at least here in the UK, are less than five miles. So if you can use your bike to do those journeys, you'll be getting a little extra seat time in as well. Not only will you become happier and healthier, but you may also save a bit of cash. Then of course, there's also going out on the bike at weekends. Now, I appreciate that this is usually a very precious kind of family time, so why not take them all with you? You'll all be getting some exercise, plus you'll also be spending some quality time with the people that you care about. Mm -hmm. 
but I do realize that riding a bike is no magic life fix. No matter how much you ride, sometimes your problems will still be there when you get back. There really is no need to suffer in silence and you should always try and seek help either from a medical professional or simply just sitting down and talking to somebody. There really is no need to suffer in silence. Hopefully I've helped you get on a bike and I've answered some of the questions that you may have had. If you'd still like some more information then click on the video that's coming up in a few seconds in the end screen. Similarly if you've enjoyed this vlog please like and share and also please consider subscribing because it really does help the channel out. Thanks for watching.